My name is Cindy and this is my channel, Monarch Mom DIY, where I love to bring you my best tips and tools to create beautiful home decor on a budget and to inspire you to create beautiful home decor on a budget. So as you're hopping on, please say hello in the comments, in the chat there. Hello, Rita. And I have it pulled up here on my phone as well so I can see you guys in your comments. Yes, and happy Friday Eve. Happy weekend Eve. Hope everyone is doing well. Let's see, chat, there we go, live chat. I wanna see all your comments, yay. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for giving a thumbs up to the video. I appreciate that so much. Um, so today what I had is I wanted to show you, first of all, I believe I did this on Facebook. This is our November Craft Club kit. It comes with this gorgeous stencil, which we're going to use tonight again. And it comes with the scroll paper. It comes with the wooden dowels. It comes with the jute twine. It comes with the green and black chalk paste. It comes with the glue dots, which you can't see, but that's what's holding our paper scrolled up together. So this is an awesome project. If you're not part of Craft Club, you can go to my website that I linked in the description of this video and click on Craft Club and find out all about it. Hey, I see there's 37 people on. I would love it if you guys would give a thumbs up to the video. That just lets YouTube know people are enjoying what I'm doing and they'll show it to more people. All right, so I wanted to, if I can get this on here. There we go. I just had it hanging there for right now. I love this stencil. So our craft club comes with an exclusive stencil that you cannot purchase um, individually. Hello, everyone. If you're new today, let me know that as well. I know I've gotten, I've, we've added quite a few subscribers this month. I'm super excited. If I track, if I gain as many subscribers in the next 28 days as I did the last 28 days, I will hit my goal before my five-year anniversary here on YouTube, which is awesome. Okay, so I wanted to make something else with this stencil. So I went to my Dollar Tree that has the Dollar Tree Plus, and I got one of these wooden square frame signs. And we're just going to paint it, so I've already taped it off. I'm going to do the inside with crimson. I love this red for Christmas. And it, oh, good thing it wasn't full. I would have spilled up. I'm thinking about adding this little pick that is from Hobby Lobby, I believe. But um, we're going to just do something different. Hey, Sierra. Okay, and then um, the other thing I wanted to mention is it, also in the description, I put a link to a Facebook group that um, I started for people who are interested in learning more about Magnolia and the Creator Opportunity. We talked about it maybe a week or two ago, and for some reason, um, YouTube is not letting me see this chat after the live is done. I've looked to see if it's in the settings somewhere, and I can't find it. So, I wanted to link that because there was um, a live last week or the week before where people were asking questions about the creator opportunity with Magnolia um, and possibly, you know, information about joining my team and all of that. So that group is where you'll want to go on Facebook. Now, if you're not on Facebook, just send me an email and we can chat about it. Okay. Okay. Um, but if you want to just kind of learn more at your own pace, um, there are some things there already in that group that you can take a look at, and then we can talk more if you're interested in talking more. I am, I am zero pressure to join Magnolia as a creator, although there are many, many, uh, benefits to it. All right, as soon as I feel like I've gotten all this, and I know you can't see what I'm doing. Oh, thank you for sharing that, Liz, where that is. All right. And to see it, you might have to close your chat and then come back into the chat after you do it. 
All right, so all I did was tape this off and gave it one coat of crimson. And then I'm going to peel the tape off right away because um, sometimes if the paint dries and then you peel up the tape, the tape pulls up some of the paint. So we're just going to pull this off right away. and let this red dry. Okay. All right, so that is what I've done so far. I wanna just tip this back up so I can see your chat if you guys have any questions. Yeah, thank you, Maggie. Yeah, if you X out of the chat, you'll see the thumb and then you can come right back in. Awesome, okay. Yay! So, what do you guys think about this stencil? Who is already part of Craft Club? That's what I want to know. Who is part of Craft Club? What do you love about it? I think every single month, the kits get better and better. Honestly. I loved the table runner. I plan on using it next week for Thanksgiving. I loved... What was the one before that? Ugh. Was it the sunflower? Was it some, shine like a sunflower? And then this with the paper rolling. I mean, it's just it's just awesome. Yes, Sierra, I agree. I love the exclusive stencils. And because they're reusable, you can make a bunch of different projects with them, which is so fun. Okay, I don't need my red anymore. Did you guys see what I made on Facebook yesterday? You can go back on Facebook and watch this. This is our Hark the Herald Angel stencil. It comes with an angel and it comes with the music. And we just got these MDF cutouts that fit the angel. And I, I did the music on a piece of watercolor paper that I um, kind of stained with distressing ink. And then I ripped the edges and then I rolled the corners and glued it down to this box frame that I got at a thrift store. I'm so happy with how that project turned out. Oh, thank you. November's your second month. Yay, Dinah. Awesome. I know we have a few, um, a few creators on, on our team that are on the live. Let's see who's on here. Sierra's one. Patty's one. Susan. So, yeah, if you have any questions about it. Um, and I just found out. I don't know the details yet, but I just found out that our incentive trip for next year is to Hawaii. I can't really think about that yet because Gary and I still have to go on the cruise that I earned this year. And that'll be at the beginning of January. All right, I'm just using our heating tool here. Let me show you. I'm just using this to dry the paint. Hello, Patricia. Hey, Sherry. Hi, Cece. If you guys would do me a favor too and make sure you are subscribed to my channel. We're getting very, very close to the 100,000. Okay, that is dry enough. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my tape 
And we're gonna tape off, now we're gonna tape around the frame. So I'm taping on the red that we just painted and dried. So that I can now paint the frame. That went a little bit up, let's see. I know what I'll do. Yes, Marie, um, if you call support, which that phone number is at the bottom of my website. Um, or your website and let them know. They will tell you um, if they can move it. I'll tell you that they will not be able to move it probably to the first of the month because there are a lot of people already that get theirs on the first. But you can call and find out. I think they have you wait until like your third month before they'll change it for you. But yeah, for sure, call them and ask. Sam and Shayna are the sweetest. All right. So what do you guys think? I was thinking black for the, the edge. Marie, is that, did you order it through you or through me? Okay, well, what you could do is, um, what you could do is after it processes, you can cancel and then reorder it from yourself on December 1st. All right, we're almost there. This this extra step just really helps um, be able to paint fast. But what do you think? Do you guys think black? Black for the frame? Okay. Hold it too much. Hi, Marlene. Marlene's a creator on our team, too. Okay. Well, that's close enough. All right. I think... Hi, Kelly. What's the... Um, yes, Kelly, you can go to my website and um, take a look. I did put it in the description of this video. It's just monarchmomdiy.com. And um, yeah, it's reusable mesh stencils. They are awesome. We have an amazing creator opportunity where um, you can build a business. You can sign up just to... Um, Get your products at a discount and somewhere in between. You can sign up just to maybe sell to a few friends who you all craft together. So just monarchmomdiy.com will take you to that website. But I'm glad you're joining us tonight. Thank you. Is it Anjanette? That's a pretty name. I've never seen that name before. Anjanette. It's like Jeanette and Angela put together. All right. I love these Waverly paints because usually I only need one coat to fully cover. All right, so there's the front. Now I'm gonna go where I taped. 
You're welcome, Kelly. Yeah, just let me know if you have any questions. Um, I think before you hopped on, I was talking about, I do have a Facebook group that I also put the link to in the top of this video. Um, it's a group I have for anyone who's interested in learning more about the creator opportunity. So you guys can check that out. I think I called it Monarch Moms Magnolia Business Basics Group. Something like that. Something like that. Okay. Two more sides. And then we can, we can do our stenciling in the middle while this black is still wet, I think. I don't think the stencil will touch it, but I guess we'll find out. Okay. I think that's pretty good. And I'm just going to quick go around the outside edge. I won't worry about the back for now. They end up doing something else on the back anyway. I love my two-sided projects. I did notice that these frames from the Dollar Tree Plus tend, they can be a little rougher, the wood, than the ones you can get at Hobby Lobby that come in a pack. I think they come in a pack of three. They're a little bit, no, they're about the same price actually. Because I think this was $3 at Dollar Tree and I think the pack of three at Hobby Lobby is about nine. Maybe that's when wood is on sale but still just fyi okay all right and i may distress up this black if i don't like the solid great question kelly um no you cannot because it is a mesh stencil it's like a silk screen, so wherever you see this, this backing sheet through the stencil, they're tiny, tiny little holes. So it's basically like a silk screen. So you have to use our chalk paste. Anything else, um, acrylic, like I can't use this in my stencils because it would clog, it would clog those tiny holes, and then I wouldn't be able to use my stencil. It would, it would ruin it. Great question. Right, and see that painter's tape just makes it a nice clean edge all the way around. Okay, I do need to dry this though, at least here, because otherwise it's gonna get all over me. This will dry pretty fast. Yeah, so I got my holiday craft show coming up on Saturday. So tomorrow is pretty much boot camp, breakfast date, and then working on setting up my, my spot, my booth at the craft show so that Friday night when all the other crafters come to set up, I am already done and I can help them answer questions and such. You are so welcome. I'm sure there were other people thinking that same question. All right, I won't worry about drying the outside. Okay, so let's get to our stencil. Now, oh, colors. Um, now, you see there's the words. 
And then there's all these, this prettiness up here. Um, I could use my paper squeegees and do all the individual pieces. However, I think I've, I just want to do one color for this and one color for the words. And this is why, because I'm thinking of adding some actual greenery. So what do you guys think about, let me look at this greenery. I'm thinking Magnolia for the words and white for the, what do you call that? The, the greenery. What do you guys think? I know Rita. Dinah, I am in, I'm in Michigan. I'm in West Michigan. Uh, my husband is a pastor here in Hudsonville is the name of the t city. Town. I think it's a town. And uh, I coordinate the craft shows at our church. Oh, you know what I wanted to do before I... It's pretty smooth, but I think I want to just... I just want to sand it lightly to make it even smoother. And it might give us a little bit of a distressed looking background which if you watch me, you know I love. Now I gotta wipe all this dust off. tonight too actually all right now this stencil is just a tiny bit bigger than than the inside of this but I think it's gonna fit just perfect I'm gonna lay it in here I'm gonna press it down really well what do you guys think about those colors All right, you guys agree with the colors. Okay, awesome. Um, I have never, oh, layering like you mean doing different parts, different colors. Um, you just would probably use smaller squeegees like this, which I did, I just did that actually on Facebook today. I did um, a tray that's actually out in the garage drying. I sprayed it. Otherwise, I would show you. And then we're going to use these little squeegees. So I'm going to use the white chalk paste to do all the floral stuff. The leaves, the poinsettia flowers. So I'm just dragging the chalk paste across the mesh. And the chalk paste is just going to go in the spaces where you can see the red tr tray or uh, surface here. 
And as long as I don't use too much, it shouldn't go under the green part of the stencil. It should just lay on top and go where the where the mesh is. That's why I rubbed the stencil down really well. Okay. Just gonna go backwards now and get off any excess big chunks. I don't really have many big chunks. Okay, now let's get the magnolia green and we're gonna do the words. You know what? I want the glittering magnolia green. Same color, but this one has a little bit of a shimmer to it. We're gonna use this one instead. It's almost exactly the color of the stencil, so sometimes it's hard to see where I'm going. What I love about these stencils is I can take this stencil and because I'm gonna clean it with cool water and probably my stencil cleaner, lay it to dry sticky side up i'll be able to use it so this is my second time using this stencil i could probably use this stencil at least five to eight more times at least and i could use it on fabric i could use it on a pillow cover i could make a banner with it reusing the same stencil over and over in different ways which lid is this nope this is the Okay. All right, now's the peel and reveal. We're gonna gently peel up our stencil. Ooh. Oh, so pretty. Oh my goodness, the detail just gets me every time. I'm always amazed at how crisp What do you guys think? It is too easy, Kelly. You should definitely try it. Um, I will suggest that people who wanna try it out for the first time should look at the DIY kits because that, like our craft club, you get everything you need to do a complete project. Um, you don't get a jar of paste, you get a little you know, sample packet of it. But we have a lot of new DIY kits that just came out. I shared pictures on um, my Facebook. Let's come up here a second. Yeah. So pretty. Now I can tell you I'm not going to want to keep this um, frame the solid black. Um, I think I want to just do maybe just on the front of the frame some dry brushing of white. I think that'll really, but just a little bit, just a little. I don't wanna make the whole thing white, but I'll show you what I mean. Let's get my, my white chalk paste and a paper towel, and then I have, this is called a chippy brush. They're super cheap. I think they're like 99 cents at Walmart. Huh. Is anyone else having that problem? Yeah, I'll have to figure out where this greenery is going to go. I have some other pieces too that I might let's move these out of the way. <sighs> might decide to use. Okay, so when I'm using the chippy brush, I just barely get the bristles in the paint and then I kind of 
dab it on my paper towel. And I'm just lightly dragging very, um, <clears throat> not uniformly. Oh, God. Okay, and then I just go until I'm done. What are we saying no to? Oh, that you're not having problems? Okay, good. Yeah, and I'm not gonna bother doing the white on the inside. I'm just gonna keep that black. So nice. Oh, that glittering. Oh no, I got something on there. Oh, I got it. That glittering magnolia green is so pretty. Okay, now. Where aware should I put the greenery? And maybe this is too big. Maybe this is too much. Do I want to add it up here so that it's kind of like in the corner, like a continuation of the one that is stenciled? Or over here? Hmm. All right. Let me see what else. I have some others. Yeah, these were from Hobby Lobby. They were a dollar because they're marked a dollar ninety nine. I don't know if I want to cover up. I don't know. What do you guys think? It's too big. A bit big. Okay. Now the other things I have are like this, ah, like pieces of this that I have already cut some pieces off, but which corner are you guys thinking? on top of the stenciled or I don't know or I could go up higher like on the frame and do greenery up here top right here like where the corner of the all right, I got my little thingy. Might be wrong, but maybe something smaller. Maybe just pine cones and berries. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut some of these stems a little smaller. Because I really don't want to necessarily cover up. The stencil. So I'm thinking maybe just putting these on the, right onto the frame. Hmm. Is that too much still? And then, Let's see, this pine cone. Ooh, this one has little pine cones. Let's see, ooh, a big pine cone. Oh, they both do. Pine cones are tricky because they're hard to glue on. Maybe just with these little pine cones. What about that? Can you guys see it? Now does that, 
Does it look weird because it's the same corner or does that look good? So much fuzz. Okay. Over here. I think that might cover up some of the words. Hmm. Yeah, I probably don't want to add more. I mean, I have this one that has white. I have white berries too. Oh, these are from Dollar Tree. These are called Snow Greenery. The only things that were from Hobby Lobby were these. Does it need greenery? No, it doesn't necessarily have to have the greenery. I just thought it would be kind of fun to add it. Okay, the other thing is, what if we did it just at the top? Like, instead of in the corner. Corner or top? What are we thinking? Oh, I could go either way. Sherry, you like it at the top? I'm trying to see what else is in my bag. I have red poinsettias, but they're way too big. I think I need, I think I need more of the little pine cones. I'm just pulling these picks apart. I hardly ever use picks how they come from the store. I'm usually just picking them apart. All right. Let me turn this around and look at it. Yeah, I like it because I feel like this is less trying to add to what's already in the corner, if that makes sense. Yeah, I'm going to let that one be in the corner, and this is going to go across. Now, i got to get my glue gun here. And while that's heating up, we will figure out. I'm going to have to cut those off, the little branches. The weird thing about these is some of them, the berries is on, are on the back. Okay, so I'm just going to have them barely hang over the corner a little bit, the corner edge. And then these other ones will bring in a little bit. I just got to make sure there's a flat surface to glue down. Wow, these have a lot of glitter. And then we'll put our little pine cones in the middle. I think what I want to do, be nice if I could, what could I tie these with? Maybe a little, oh, do I have floral wire? Hmm. I thought I did. Let's just use some jute twine. Because instead of having three individual pieces if I cut them all this will be easier to glue down if I have the three tied together maybe there we go All right, so see what I did there? I kind of tied them together in a little little bouquet. All right, what would look great? 
greenery on top and bottom corners opposite of each other. That is an option as well. I may end up having to put a little bow or something if I have to cover up where I've glued things down. So much glitter. Okay. The thing is, honestly, if I glue this down and I hate it, I can peel them off and sand it lightly and repaint if I need. I just love this stencil has kind of an old world feel to it. Okay. So I think that's kind of the plan. So let's, man, they're shedding a lot. Well, now I'm really glad I used the glittering the glittering magnolia green because it'll go with all this glittering. Okay, let's get this. It is our glue gun almost. So I'm just gonna let one piece at a time. Press it down with my little spatula. Well, I mean, you could put the greenery under here if you want. It's just probably going to cover up your words. <sighs> yeah, I think I'll just continue with it here for now. Like I said, if I don't like it, I can always pull it off. Honestly, I think there's no right or wrong here. I think it's just whatever speaks to you when you make a project. Wow, I can really hear the wind outside. It's quite blustery. I feel like there's a lot bigger hole there than there was before. I might need Let's just do one, one more on each side. should like measure where the middle is. The middle is right about there. Yeah, <laughs> that's right, Patricia.
piece wants to roll. Might just have to let it. Oh, I didn't see the question. Yes. I raised monarchs here in Michigan during the summer and early fall. I had 50 this year. Whew. All right, these are just going to kind of set and. All right, I see the twine. All right, what do we think? I know some of you would have done it at the bottom. Here, let me angle this up so we can see. I feel like I could do a big pine cone up here. Or maybe... Maybe a couple more of these just poked in at the top. To make it more fan like this. All right, so my pine cones, I think, are stuck on. Now I'm just going to put glue on the end of this. I'm going to stick one in right here. Got lots of glue strings that I'll have to get off at the end. And Oh, thank you, Patricia. All right. Had to add a little bit more greenery up here because it looked really naked where the pine cones were. What do you guys think? I love it. I think it's really, really pretty. So what I ended up using was all this greenery it was from um, Dollar Tree. The only thing that was from Hobby Lobby were the little pine cones from those picks. Thank you. Thank you. And maybe this sticks out to, should I, should I get rid of the ones that are hanging off the edge? Keep it flush in line with the frame like that. What do you think? Should I take some off? I wonder what some wood, ro ooh, wood roses. Yes. Thank you. I don't know. I might clip and clip. What do you guys think? If I just made it so it was just 
not sticking out off the side. No, don't clip it. It's only a little bit, huh? All right. Well, thank you guys for joining me. I am very excited about this project. Um, you know, I always, I have an idea and then it just kind of evolves throughout the live. So that's what makes it so fun is even I don't know what, what it's going to look like at the end. Okay. I won't clip it. I'll keep it. I'll keep it like this. And then I will paint the back black. This may end up in my craft show this weekend. So thank you so much. And if you are interested in information about Magnolia, my website is there. I also put the link to that Facebook group. If you're interested in information about, uh, the business Magnolia business. So, all right, you guys take care. Have a great night. Bye.